Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in a Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to create your own legend when you're using conditional formatting that doesn't quite produce one, all right? So I did a video about conditionally formatting one column by another column and I colored that, the background of the column, but I didn't tell you how I created the legend that I used in the video. And someone posted a comment in that video was like, Patrick, how did you create it? So that's why I'm doing this video, all right? So instead of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do, let's head over to my laptop. When I did the video, basically what I did was I colored the claim number based on the claim status in another table, all right? Um, and then I put a little legend right here and they're like, how did you create the legend? Well, so what I did was I went over to, I created a blank page just so I can have a complete canvas to work in. And then I added this visual right here, this little visual, the stack column chart. And I created a measure. My measure is called legend and it's just a constant value one. You'll see why in a little bit, okay? I added it to the, to the report and I get one bar. And then I went and found the corresponding claim status for where I colored those, you know, those backgrounds of the claim, the claim number and the other, the other, on the other visual. And I added it to my axis. So you can see each status, but it's all blue. And so I wanna make sure that the colors correspond to the colors that I put for the background colors in the table. So I click on the format option and then I start going down. I start thinking about how I wanted to format this up, right? So the first thing I did was I wanted to use conditional formatting just like I did in the table so it, the colors will match, right? So I'll click on it, click on the little ellipsis here, choose conditional formatting, change it from color scale to fill value and then go to claim status, use that claim status color and click okay. You'll see each one of my bars change. And then I started the fun part, right? Formatting this thing up to kind of make it look like it's a legend. So the first thing I did uh, was went to general and I turned responsive off. You'll see why, just hang on, you'll see why. And then I went to my X axis and I reduced the size of those labels really small and change the font, so just kind of bold it out a little bit, right? I like this Sugo bowl. And then I turned off the title. I don't want the title, right? We know this is the claim status, right? Collapse that one. Then I went to the Y axis, come on. And I'll go all the way down, come on. And I'm gonna turn off the title there, but I'm gonna completely turn off this Y axis when my machine catches up with my brain. <laughs> All right, so that's completely off. I'm gonna turn the Y axis completely off. All right, so that's done. Now I noticed that one of my colors is white, so I need to go and adjust the background so I can you know, pop that out a little bit. So I'm gonna change the background color to something like a very subtle gray. I don't know what you guys think, and Patrick, this is not that pretty. That's all right, all right, you, got, you get what I'm doing here. So go, you can make this look much nicer um, in your own time. And then I went to title and I reduced the size of that a little bit, there we go. Uh, maybe just a little too small. Uh, and then the last thing I did was I went back to the X axis and there's a property on the X axis for padding. I, I went all the way out to 50%, right? To make these a little smaller. And the reason I got rid of responsive because I wanted it to not, you know, try to wrap things and hide things every time I resized it. I wanted it to persist the way it looks then there you go, there's my legend. I clicked it, I copied this guy, and then I went over to my the other page where I had the tables at. You'll see this pop up in just a little bit. I pasted it on that page, drug it down. Okay, I found this. Look, she's back. <laughs> okay, go away, go away, lady, go away, go away. All right, so then I pasted it on this page, just kind of fit it into that section <laughs> every time, every time. And now you can see, right? So instead of an end user guessing about what's here, they can basically see the corresponding colors for each of the items in the table. That's bananas, right? So easy, so simple. You'll make it prettier, you'll make it nicer. It's just the concept, right? Just the idea of what I've done. All right, what do you guys think? You got any questions, comments, you know what to do. Post it in the comments below. Your first time visiting a guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. You like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.